it is what it is, and it just means Scotland had the chance to go 23 all two minutes ago. They now find themselves three points down, and crucially, one man down, their key man, Finn Russell, for the last 10 minutes of this game. Wow. You thought there wasn't any more in this? <laughs> Don't go to the kitchen and make the tea just yet. It is a monumental task now for Scotland in terms of winning this game. Supporters of Wales will be in behind the couch. Stuart Hogg. Fiku gathers the ball and Scotland arrive in numbers and that's a really good defensive effort right into French territory because they escape that. There is lots of green grass behind Scotland. Again, great vision from Hoggy to lift his head, Stuart Hogg, throw the dummy, chip this ball through and then chase it down. A kick, or any kick, only as good as it chase. Fiku to the deck, Duhan van der Moer, Hugh Jones, big impact since he's come on as well, and scramble him into touch. It's okay, a big turnover for Scotland okay, in the context Scotland. this last 10 minutes. Sam Johnson is gone, Adam Hastings is in. Hastings will slot into that. 10 Ryan, two channel meters, and Ryan, two the absence of Finn Russell and they will all shuffle across and do their best to manage the defensive and attacking plays with one man less in that back line Scotland and the back line aren't going to be in a hurry to see this ball uh, Scotland well that is really really silly from Teofifa Noah he's just given away a cheap penalty we'll go back for that if necessary, Hastings. And you could yeah, see it, we go back. Like he was told clearly really, really to dull. get back. Really dull. And you could see there was clear there was clear communication between Wayne Barnes and the three people that were in illegally at the side. Oh, penalty, JD. It could have been Taufi Finwa, he's picked up Batty Saran, who came into that mall to defend as a scrum half of all people. You, you do not need your scrum half in there. I don't know what he's doing. A brain explosion by Batty Saran. And all of a sudden, we find ourselves at 14 men each, <laughs> quite incredibly. It just changes every moment of the last two games in Paris. It's just ebbed and flowed, and one moment of madness or one moment of magic has just changed the entire perspective of the game. And here we are at it again into the final six minutes. It's 14 against 14. And that's the way it is likely to finish, you would think. Scotland from maybe hoping to hang on and get a penalty to tie this game up. Well, 14 against 14. Their thoughts will be on winning once more. But France has snuffed out that opportunity. Great work by Captain Charles Olivon to work his way through. Again, communicating, you can see the smarts. He's a very smart captain, he's a good communicator. You can see him asking Wayne Barnes, am, am I okay, am I legal, can I, legal? Can I come through? The answer is yes. And once him and Ro Roman Taufa, if you know, I get their hands on you, there's only one conclusion. Great play by Four. Captain Thanks, Charles Olivon. Look really slow, lots of new players, really slow, good height. Bokuda discipline, Bokuda balance. Another change for Scotland. Okay. Let's go with it. Watch out. There's the penalties conceded to Scotland. Balance, We're up to ten and a half times, so they've done okay in the second half. Alex Craig has come into the game. Skinner's gone. That's the face of Jamie Ritchie. Bye. Set. Final five minutes of the Guinness Six Nations for 2021, and France have three tries. They need a fourth, and then they need something of a miracle. And Wales. Watch on. And with every second that passes, they believe that they are going to be the Six Nations champions for this season. Six Nations, of course, started back in 2000. England have won seven titles. France, five. Wales, five. Ireland, four. Benno 
Teddy Toma. No tackle. Sets it up. That's on there. Wait. Another big hit from Gilchrist. He's been immense for Scotland tonight. Absolutely immense. Fiku saw the little gap in behind. Van der Merwe goes back, and it was Oliver who was chasing it down. Van der Merwe escapes him, and then... Sank, Adet, Sank. Number five no, is Rebaj. Adet. JD Adet. Offside. Adet to continue. And that surely is that in terms of the potential to win this championship. Now it's about the game. Wales are going to be champions. Whisper it. One of the directives for the referees has been to try to create more space on the field. So any kick that goes through in loose play for multi-phase, you're asked to stop until you're put onside. And they've been asked to be super hot on that. Swan Rabaj, they're not retreating, not waiting to be played onside and giving away, again, a cheap penalty. The discipline in this game has been helter-skelter, and it's been so crucial for field position. And again, Scotland from nothing get another bite. A line out on the 40 meter line and a chance to work another mall. You mentioned two, Grant please. Gilchrist right. again. He's been imperious at line out's time with his do calling, do with that. his organization of the line out. And he gets another chance here. Cherry, France have the ball. Benno's playing scrum half. I remember Serrat in the bin. He's only on the pitch for about 25 seconds. In Tamac. Fiku, Richie just hangs on and eventually drags him down. Scotland desperate for the ball. And away, no. Remember, they haven't won in Paris since 1999. They're just three points adrift right now. They need to get a hold of it. Teddy Thomas is wrapped up. The defensive effort by the Scottish three-quarter line has been superb. Every time France has gotten to an edge, they've put them under real pressure. Again, there are Hugh Jones coming onto the pitch, leading that line with Chris Harris. He's taken over. Real pressure every time they get to the edge. Fiku, Peno, Cherry, watch that one. That's good work from the replacement hooker. Richie trying to hold up the French players and create a mall and get turnover. Cross field, this one goes, but it's not going to find a Frenchman. Oh, oh, that's a loose pass. Hogg has to dive on the ground to secure possession. Chat gets a back. hold of him. Hastings, little show, and then goes himself. Pops it off. Scotland do have the ball. Maybe a final throw of the dice for Scotland. Can they win this game? 14 against 14. Antonio just lies on the player. Hastings, little dink over the top, chases it himself. The ball bounces France's way. Teddy Toma controls it with the foot, has time. Little look up to see what's on. Scotland have kicked possession away. There are only 40 seconds left, but they're going to get another go. And that penalty <laughs> is going to give them territory. Over the ball. Isolated. You knew there was going to be another chapter in this one. Just one second, let's make sure your man's okay. Watch his stop. Big moments for sure big players. Okay. Again, Jamie Ritchie, a man that we haven't spoken about that much in this tournament. Sensational over the past 12 months, and he has grafted all evening tonight, bailing his team out, <laughs> scramble defence again. His effort has been superb, and he gives Scotland, look, with his one shot left, this is the last shot for Scotland to get down the other end of the field and take something out of this game. But what a turnover to give his side a sniff of something at You're the end right, of this fellas? match. How is he, Doc? Is he all right? Yeah, he's okay. Well, it's been a truly entertaining, enthralling, engaging finish in particular over the last two weekends to this Six Nations of 2021. Games between Ireland and England last week, Wales and France last week, and then again, different type of game altogether tonight between. Scotland and France, but right down to the wire, and it's had everything. It's had tries and cards and moments of brilliance and moments of absolute madness. 
And is there <laughs> one last play? Avec du set, s'il vous plaît. Thank you. Cherry and Scotland. This is it. This is the game right here. Kilchrist. The mall is set, but it has no forward momentum. So Ali Price will break away. Richie Fagerson. It's a decent charge from Fagerson. And Scotland are carrying with purpose. They need to be accurate. They need to be patient. Rebaj gets out of there. Needed to. Penalty would have come otherwise. Price can see the ball. Do they continue down the narrow side? They do. Hamish Watson tries to squirt his way out of that tackle. And France have it. France have it. Oh, and that is surely that. Oh, it's never surely that. It's another penalty. And it's another opportunity for Scotland. Brees Dulan, who had the time to kick the ball out, made the decision not to. But his supporting clearers have gone off their feet, which gives Stuart Hogg another opportunity to nudge this ball into touch and Grant Gilchrist another chance to drive Scotland over the line. What's the timing on there? Yeah, it's, it's been fine so far, Ali. I'm, I'm watching, it's really good. You simply could not make this up. Scotland still have an opportunity to do it. Cherry at the back. France hold them up. And again, they're warned to get back. This time they do. Into contact once more. Ali Price has a little look both sides. Call comes and Hamish Watson is the one. That could have been called high, but it's still there for Scotland. Wilson was the one to carry. Now it's Kebble, and he pumps the legs. And they're only five metres away now, Scotland. Van der Merwe, no one outside him, has to go to ground. Richie. Cherry does the clean-out work. Price to Fagerson, who comes back inside once more. Cavalry arrives to protect the ball. Hastings almost away. Needs support, has support. Price. Cherry. On they come. It's been gritty, it's been determined. And they still have the opportunity to do what few believe they could. Three points down. Dying embers of the game. Have they got that moment of magic? Phase after phase, and France somehow continue to hold firm. Kebble goes to ground. Players are out on their feet. Scotland need one more moment of magic. Ryan Wilson. France have players over the ball, but they're off their feet. Price screams at Cherry to get there, and then goes the other way. Hogg, no room, but still finds a way to three meters short. Price. Craig. Price once more. Guts, effort, almost. Watson, Cherry. France keep making the tackles. Gilchrist just repels. What an effort. 18 phases. It's a game you just don't want to end. Scotland continue. They're a metre short now. Price. Hastings. They're going to do it, are they? Van der Merwe. Yes! <laughs> What a game, what a finish, and what a moment for Scotland. At the beginning, 
They did what they hadn't done for so many years by going and winning at Twickenham. And now, to finish it up, they've come and won in Paris for the first time in the Six Nations, the first time since 1999. And you can't but say that was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic and a piece of history. For the first time in the Six Nations in my lifetime that I can remember, Scotland have won twice away from home against the two big dogs, against England and France. And what a way to do it, an emphatic win at the end of the game. And the guts, the absolute determination, you can see on Stuart Hawke's face how much it means. And I'm right there with him because it hasn't happened in the time that I was a professional rugby player. I have played this game, this fixture, so many times and come away with a hiding. And look, the grit, the determination, the organisation to stay in, put France under pressure, ask questions again and again, and batter away. What a finish to this game.